And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're all having a great day so far and really taking advantage of the awesome weather we're having. But it's all about to change. Storm Team Meteorologist Blake Harms is here once again. And Blake, we love having you on, but you are unfortunately here to deliver some pretty bad news yeah. as far as this great weather we've been having is concerned. It's all really set to disappear over the course of tonight and into tomorrow. Blake, what is headed our way? Well, first of all, let's start with good news, and it is that as of uh, last check, we are at 72 degrees mm -hmm. in Grand Rapids, which is the first time we've ever hit 70 in the month of February, wow. which is remarkable. Uh, bad news is that comes along with the chance for some thunderstorms, and we are expecting some later this evening. That's our primary focus here over the next 12 hours or so. This is a future cast to look at potential radar close to 10 o'clock tonight, and you can see that it uh, looks like there's a good chance we'll see some storms start to fire up around that time, especially down along I-94. And then as we get later on in the evening, closer to 11 o'clock, midnight, we'll see some of those storms roll into the rest of West Michigan. Uh, bringing the chance of some large hail, perhaps a few strong wind gusts, and a non-zero chance of a tornado. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center still has us highlighted in a slight risk, a level 205 uh, for most of West Michigan. You can see the enhanced risk over there in Chicago Lane, better chance for some large hail and perhaps a tornado over there. But we're going to be watching this situation pretty closely um, tonight. So just keep in mind that, you know, you're good to get out over the next few hours. It's not till well after sunset tonight, closer to 9 o'clock and onward. You'll want to pay close attention to the weather as storms likely fire up and roll in. Mm -hmm. And Blake, one other thing that, you know, you mentioned that we're having this sort of record-breaking high as far as temperatures go, and again, it's lovely outside right now. I just stepped outside just yeah. a minute ago to really take it all in because I know it is going to be gone, and specifically I wanted to focus on the temperatures and really pull up this pretty interesting yeah. graphic to see how it kind of just, just look at that drop-off over yeah. really the course of maybe 10 hours or so, less than yeah. 24. Um, so you would define it as interesting. I think others may use uh, an expletive to define this graphic. Well, I'm we not go... allowed to curse you, <laughs> that's, that's true. We go from the low 70s this afternoon down to the upper 20s by tomorrow morning. Not only that, but it comes along with some snow showers. We're talking about perhaps a flash freeze, so roads could turn pretty icy. For the morning commute tomorrow, bottom line, it is going to be uh, whiplash to say the least. Any mm -hmm. folks who don't watch the weather, you'll be able to tell tomorrow morning because uh, it's going to be a night and day difference, completely yes. different season tomorrow this time as opposed to today. Yeah, no, I, when I first, I, I've said it a million times whenever you're on, Blake, I know you're tired of hearing it, but when I moved here, everybody said you're not prepared for Michigan weather, and once again, I was proven wrong just when I thought, oh, this is lovely, I yeah. love this kind yeah. of February weather. Now, back to cold and wind chill yeah. and all this just Reality awful, check. awful stuff. Feels like, like feels like temperature will probably be about 60 degrees cooler at this yeah. time tomorrow. And that's just amazing. Like I said, we Should saw that crime. graphic just over a couple of hours, too. Uh, Blake, do you have any other good news for us? Um, I know, especially coming up towards the weekend, it is looking to be a little bit better. Yeah, we do get back up to the 60s by the weekend, so that, of course, is good news. And the, the storms tonight will be, you know, coming through pretty quickly, so not talking about any long-term impacts from that. Uh, just keep a close eye on the weather tonight, and then keep in mind you may want to budget a little extra time tomorrow morning as we can see some slick spots, mm -hmm. and then it's kind of back to how this winter has been, warm and quiet uh, for the rest of the week. Right. Blake, I do want to get your perspective on something. You know, when yeah. we hear and see all these different forecasts, the temperature models, yeah. potential storm, just how everything is changing in just 24 hours, I mean, from a meteorologist's perspective, is that are, we, are you feeling that same level of craziness about this whole thing yeah it's nuts i mean uh, we in situations like this we typically tend to go a little conservative with the temperatures especially when there's a chance of breaking records because records are there for a reason they don't happen very often uh, but with this scenario i mean we had the high t forecasted at 64 as of a few days ago and the models have just kept trending warmer and warmer and now we're at the point where we've broken the record for the month of February by three degrees and it's only two o'clock. So this has been a pretty impressive system. Colorado tends to see some of this where they go from really hot to really cold. We don't see this as often. Mm -hmm. To see a temperature swing of nearly 50 degrees is absolutely remarkable. Mm -hmm and we are bracing for that in the tracking center as well for tomorrow. Right. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who's a little <laughs> no. bit concerned about no. it. Blake, thank you so much for stopping by. We know you and the rest of the Storm team are going to be well on top of all yep. of this, and I do want to remind everybody that you can stay up to date on everything regarding the forecast and the weather outside simply by heading on over to our website, woodtv.com, and just head on over to the weather page. We've got all of that good stuff there for you. Yeah. Blake, we know you're a busy guy, especially as we head into tonight, so we're going to let you go. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for stopping by on the live desk. Thanks today. for having me, Phil. Enjoy the last few hours. 
showers of warm weather. Of course. I'm, gonna, I'm about to head right out there. Good. Like I'm right I'll join you. It, so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. I want to thank everybody else for tuning in to this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.